Okay, welcome back everyone. This is episode four, and this is our final episode. This is gonna be on compositing. Now what I've done, I've took in the renders, the stars, the moon, and so on. And now we can put these in individual layers in After Effects. So we're already here in After Effects, and I'm gonna make a new composition from the sequence. So let's go ahead and do that. And we got our stars in there, and that's gonna be our background. Now let's go ahead and work on the earth real quick. Okay, we got the earth in there now, and now we're going to make our atmosphere for our earth. So let's kind of back up to where we can see it right here. And let's hit Control c Control v with that one selected. It'll make a duplicate of our layer, and we're going to go to the one that's behind our top layer. Let's go ahead and hide these two and lock them so we can't select on them and edit values when we don't want to. So now let's, um, on our earth layer, when we want to edit, let's go up here to our effects control, and let's go into Generate. Da, 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 and four color gradient. And this is how we're going to design our atmosphere for our planet. So, uh, and these back here, these are going to be darker. We're going to add this as a screen mask, so that way, the only side that we want the uh, atmosphere to glow on is going to be the light hitting our Earth, and that's the only way you can really see the atmosphere is with the sun hitting it. So we're going to use these two as our controls for our atmosphere, and these are going to be black. So start with the green, make it black. And the blue right here, let's make it black too. Let's bring them in a little more. And let's go to 100% fit. There we go. Let's go to this guy. Let's make it a really light blue. And go to this one. Make it a little darker blue. And... That's looking pretty good. Let's move this in a little more. Oops. All right, looks pretty good. Now, if you notice, it's only applying the fill to our alpha channel, which is, um, oops, keep on moving it, which is very convenient because it needs to actually follow with our earth as it pulls back. And that way, this will work pretty well. I'm not going to go ahead and animate these. You can if you want it to change, but it, it'll work fine. You, you, you will hardly see what these are doing in our final output. So let's go over here. Let's add a blur, a fast blur. And that way we can get that feathered edge that is very unique to atmospheres. That's looking pretty good. Now let's bring our earth back in on top of that. You can see we got a little glow going on here in the corner. So let's take this atmosphere and let's copy it real quick. And now we have a little bit more glow and let's turn this back one down some. I don't want to be that bright and that's that's looking pretty good. So leave that one at 38. Let's just do an even number, 30. And that way it's adding just a little more glow to our Earth. So if I take it off and click on one. This is all personal preference. You can leave it right there or you can add another one. I, I tend to like mine that's a little bit more bright. Actually, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to feather it out some more. It's adding just a little more softness to our glow. And you see, now we got our atmosphere the entire time. As it pulls back, we're seeing it nicely. You notice it's only on this side where the light's hitting and kind of feathers off to nothing over here. And that's kind of how you want it to look. And we have our lights going off too. So we're, we're getting, we're halfway there. We're getting there already. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and take this atmosphere. I'm going to copy it one more time. I'm going to bring this on top of everything else. And I'm going to make this a screen. I'm going to make all these screens too. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Let's go to this one. We're going to pull it way down. And that way it's adding just a little bit of that nice glow on this side of it. So you kind of see it kind of feather off into nothing, kind of like a little fog. And that seems to work pretty good. All right, well, I'm liking that. I think our Earth is pretty good right now. Let's go ahead and pop in the moon. Let's go back to our project. Go to the moon. Bring the moon in. And then we got our moon coming in now when it pulls back. 
And the moon's a little dark, so let's go ahead and tweak the moon some. And you can see why I like to really take these all in individual layers and edit them together in After Effects, because it gives you a lot more control over the final look that you want to do. Let's go to Curves, and let's just kind of pull this out some in the bottom here. It's a little more there, and let's bring the brights down. Some of these whites are a little too much. And bring this down to... Up. I'm just kind of tweaking here. You can do whatever you want to it. Well, that's good enough. Let's look at 100% real quick. Not bad. Got a little motion blur going on there. Looking good. And let's go ahead and copy the moon. And let's make this really bright. On our next layer. Let's bring this down some. And it's had a blur to this. A flash, fast blur. Should peep the edges because it will come in from the edge right here. So we don't want the edge looking kind of ridiculous. Let's blur it up a good bit. Let's make it look like it's kind of glowing, how the moon off, often does in the sky. And we'll make that a screen. And we're going to bring that way down. That's way too bright. It's just kind of right around there. That's right, looking good. And let's take this one and copy it. Let's move it behind our other moon. That way it'll be glowing more on the outside. All right, so let's go back. We see everything. And you can see the difference. Let's take these two off. Kind of gives that little glow going on. And that's looking pretty good. Now, let's put our flare in there. Let's grab our lens flare. And we're going to put this right behind the Earth right in front of the stars and I rendered this as a tiff and we're going to add a screen to this that way it drops out all the black screen there's our stars and this is way too bright but we'll, we'll worry about that in a second now what we're going to do for this we're going to bring it in the background let it stay there kind of kind of adds a little glow and then we're going to copy the flare and then right when it starts to poke out right here let's see where we're at see one there we go right there I'm going to take this flare and put it in front of the earth and the moon the very very top see now what we're going to do here so as it's he just glow behind the earth and right when it starts to poke out right around let's say right right there we can go to this guy bring it in let's go to our opacity and let's give a keyframe right there and let's use this guy right here to back up one two three and let's make this zero so as you scroll forward it'll look like uh, most lens flares do when they peek out behind objects and give you a nice little glow so it'll come in and there we go that's looking pretty good and then right around here let's go back to this frame this keyframe on this flare and let's drop down our other flare right here. Let's bring this up so we can see it. And let's uh, give it an opacity keyframe. And then right around here, we'll make that zero. That way it'll kind of be like, you know, when you see something really bright, it takes your eyes a little second to adjust. It'll make it look super bright for a second. And then right around here, it's starting to get pretty good. All right, now this, this is a little too bright right in here. So let's go to our flare. And we'll go on a frame where uh, this one's completely out, which we're good. And let's go ahead and adjust this some more. Let's give it a curves. And this is way too bright, so we're just going to take, drag this down, drag this part up. And you can really start to uh, tweak it how you like. Uh, that's looking pretty good. And actually, this top flare right here, when we want to uh, be completely transparent right there, let's uh, go ahead and make that, let's say, 15. Let's put it right here. That way you'll kind of see it after it's glowing at the top, but it won't look like it's uh, going through the object. It'll just add a little bit more glow and give it a little extra depth up there in the top.
And that's about it. Let me go ahead and render out a preview. And now it's rendered out, so let's go ahead and preview this. And lights go out and still pulling back. Here comes the moon. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Now, there's a couple more things you can do. You can also add a, an adjustment layer on top of all this. So let's go ahead and put new adjustment layer. And that way we can further tweak everything right here. The entire scene now. So let's go color correction, put in some more curves in there. And you can sit here and uh, adjust it. Get a little bit more darker up in here at these sections. Pull some mid-range out. Or if you want to see more earth, that's looking kind of too much. Let's pull some of this down. So you can see the difference in that. But this it's all a matter of personal preference in these particular scenes right here. I mean, some people like them darker. Some people like to see them more. And it's just what you want to do with your whole animation. Well, well that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching the whole series. And, uh, and hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe and go to Facebook. And you can post any comments about future tutorials or any questions there. And like always, have a good day.